In this video I'm going to show how to create leader lines for labels using ArcGIS Pro. Now a leader line is basically a little line that you draw on the map that connects a label with the feature that it describes. And you use them when uh, usually the feature is too small to put the label inside. Uh, we have a situation like that over here uh, with these countries like Togo uh, where the label is just too big. We can make the text smaller and rotate it. That might be one way to do it. Uh, but that's going to be a little weird because it would result in text that is uh, moving uh, vertically instead of horizontal. So let's practice with leader lines here and we can see how the process works. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to move this annotation out of the area. Um, and I'm just going to organize it a little bit. So let me put this label here. And we'll move Ben in uh, over to here. And we'll draw a few leader lines connecting these labels with their country. Uh, we're going to insert what's called map notes. Uh, this is where we can just draw additional points, lines, and areas on top of the map that don't represent geographic features. Um, so go to the Insert tab and choose Dark Map Notes. And you will see them appear here in your left-hand table of contents. Uh, nothing happens because we haven't created any yet. Um, but uh, you'll see them here if you expand all the different kinds of notes that you can create. Things like arrows, uh, points, push pins, and so on. So this is how you can add some other things on top of the map to help tell the story or to clarify things. If you don't like the colors that are in the map notes, um, you can double click them and change them over here. I actually like this green because it sort of matches the colors we've been using. Uh, I can maybe make it a little uh, darker than what it came with and apply it like that. Now we need to create some map notes so to do that you go to edit and click create and this will allow you to create features in the different things that you're editing. So just choose over here what you want to make. We're going to make thin line 3, that's the green one. Um, and then go ahead and just click where you want to start the line and double click when you want to end the line. So click and then double click. And so now we've drawn some lines on the map. And oops, if you click again and this happens, uh, that's annoying, but you can just cancel the sketch like that. Um, and then you can click save. Remember to save your edits periodically. And if it's bugging you that this is still highlighted, uh, you can always clear the selected features by just clicking clear. In fact, I have many maps turned in by students that will have invariably one blue thing on them and that indicates to me that students did not remember how to clear the selected feature or they forgot. So make sure to do that to clean up your map a little bit. Now if you have too many leader lines in your map, they're going all over the place, your map can look ugly, kind of like spaghetti. Um, you might also want to make this leader line a different color like black so people don't confuse it with a country boundary. And here, having the line cross several polygons may not be the best practice. Perhaps I could adjust these uh, labels a little bit so that the lines don't have to cross. Um, if you use leader lines, just use them sparingly. Uh, but this tutorial should show you uh, a little bit about how to create them if you do need to use them.